welcome to my channel. My name is Patricia, and I am glad and so excited that you guys chose to come here with me. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, I am a mother of seven. Boom. <laughs> I'm a mother of seven. I have um, a 16-year-old at the top. She's a girl. And a two-year-old at the bottom. She's a girl. And in the middle, squished, I have five boys. I have a, let me get this right, <laughs> nine, eight, six, four, four. That's what I have. So, those are my boys. I am also married to um, my hubby Bubby. And so, we are busy. We have one rabbit and two dogs. Welcome to my house. As you can see, the background isn't all that right now uh, because we have not cleaned yet. <laughs> I'm actually moving things around. This is the kitchen. It should be in her room, but we're pulling things out and we're changing up rooms. Uh, with seven kids, sometimes you have to mix and match the children because it just don't work out. We have the twins together, but really... One of the twins is a little bit more mature than the other, so he's going in with the six-year-old. But the six-year-old, he really doesn't want to sleep all the time in his room. He wants to go be with daddy. And so, we're just trying to figure this out. We got the eight and nine trying to kill each other. And so, it's just a lot, a lot going on. But that's okay. We have six rooms. And we have two rooms that's going to be doubled up. So, Victoria has her own room. William and Harry have their own room. The twins and Scarlett. The twins are Kingston and Jackson. It's a lot. And that brings me to what we're talking about. So, I decided to start my blog. Um, my daughter says it's called a vlog. Video vlog. I decided to start it off with talking about me because I can talk about the children all day. I can talk about our life. I can talk about everything. But until you know me, it's really not necessary to talk about everyone else, is it? So let's get to know me. And then you continue coming back, liking and subscribing. And I will get better with the background, <laughs> the graphics, a better camera, indeed. And we will go from there. But thank you guys for coming out. And thank you. Again, I can say, I'm telling you, it took a lot to be able to stop and do this part of the vlog. Just to be able to get my foot in the door. It took a lot. I got scarred asleep. And then I'm, I have to go take care of the twins. I have to go get the twins and get the big kids and bring them home from school. But for right now, I finally, all week, I'm exhausted. I got time to myself. Today is actually Dr. Seuss. Um, it's Read Across America Day. And so we were doing, um, see, this one didn't come out right. But I ended up getting something that did come out right. I was doing some hot gluing last night. <laughs> And trying to get things done. Um, I had this. Hold on. I had this. Wait. Oh my gosh. Hold on, guys. Let me show you. So, you know, this is what I was doing. Alright, so we got 10 apples on top, and this lion is what he was going to be. And we we're going to paint these with the red paint. Put the apples, put it on top of this thing right here. Boom. Or like this. Boom. And put this on the shirt too so they can know what book it came from. And my son has, his hair is like mine. So it's like this, so like a lion. And boom, apples right there. Boom, 10 apples on top. Gosh. Boom, he would have been like... He decided to be like the twins instead. And he wanted thing one on the front of his shirt and thing two on the back. 
And then I had another, uh, my other son, he wanted to have the walk-it in the pocket. So I did print out a walk-it that was in the pocket, and I put it on his shirt with a picture of the book. And my other son, I actually found at the um, consignment shop a some mother or grandmother, whoever, made a Dr. Sue shirt, and it has all the books on it. And so I got that. My twins came home yesterday with Dr. Seuss hats they made. So I put the hat on him, Dr. Seuss hat, and he had all the books on it. And so he was ready to go. <sighs> it is exhausting. Okay, I didn't get a lot of sleep. And then today I had to help do um, dealing with doctors and things. But that's another story. <sighs> I'm basically helping everyone. But where am I? You know? I should be helping me. I don't know. My eyes are dark. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. My feet hurt. I got. A, I have an appointment that I had a year ago canceled, and I had to go ahead and get it back up and going because I need to get get my foot checked. My foot and my ankle. It hurt. And so I'm walking around here in pain, just trying to make sure everybody else is good. We're. I'm training basketball. But my sons were training for basketball. Twins were training for football. My daughter getting ready for volleyball again. So I am constantly playing, constantly taking care of everyone. And um, I'm cleaning, I'm cooking. I'm, you know, taking care of the animals. And I can sit here and say that I'm doing it all. But I'm, I'm not doing everything. Like, my husband, he does help out a little bit. You know, he might sweep. I sweep and he <laughs> I'm trying to think of what else he do we'll, I, we'll talk about that later <laughs> we'll talk about and my daughter she don't do that so you know she might wash the dishes that's my life that's my life I can complain, I can fuss, I can like make beautiful to-do lists and check off lists. We can be, um, we can do treasure box stuff. We can do hand out tickets and hand out dollar bills when you do things. But in the end, it always end up the same. Back to me cleaning up everything. I can clean up this whole house. It'd be beautiful in one day, but as soon as they come home from school, it starts. And then it's messy again. It's not messy to the point where you want to throw up messy. But if you're like constantly picking up shoes, constantly picking up socks, constantly picking up toys, constantly putting the dishes away and taking out the trash and cleaning up after the animals, picking up their stuff and feeding them. If you're constantly doing all of these things, then it does get exhausting. It does get tiring. And you're taking care of making sure everybody has what they need, what they need. Like, make sure they're relaxed, they're calm, they have their their time to themselves. Make sure they go have fun and and um, you know, they have the clothes and they have their shoes and they have their favorite foods and their birthdays are special and everything is great. But there is nobody there to make sure that you have those things, and you just like wallpaper on the background you know you're the table or should I say the legs how often do you wipe down the legs on the table to make sure it's clean you wipe the table you make sure it's clean because you gotta eat off of it but how often do you really take care of the legs I'm the legs <laughs> I'm the table legs. Nobody looks at me. They just expect me to hold them up. So anyway, this is what you're going to get when you come to my blog. You're going to get sadness. Ah, excitement. I know we didn't. So come on back. You never know what you're going to get. And also check out on Spotify and Anchor. 
uh, fm.com. That is um, Patricia Bernard's blog. And I want you to come, I mean, not blog, Patricia Bernard podcast. I want you to check it out. I got a couple of podcasts on there, a couple of things on there that are um, interesting. And it will get better. I try to do the podcast in the car, so it's not very long. Each episode is pretty short. Uh, that's when I take my daughter to, it's her nap time in the van. And I'm picking up the boys from school. So I have that little time to just be able to to vent or to talk about something interesting. So now I'm trying to incorporate this time, camera time, into it. So, <sighs> This is going to be a very brand new adventure for me. And I'm excited. So, hey, stay with me. Stay with me. Subscribe. Pass it on. And um, to those moms and dads that are tired, stay with me. We're going to find a way out. We're going to get some rest. <laughs>